Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where I like to cook for you, do grocery hauls, what's for dinner segments, and also desserts, which is what it is all about today. I had a subscriber ask if I had a recipe for bread pudding. So you better believe that if you are married to my husband, you have a recipe for bread pudding. All right, so if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification. You'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, guys, if you're ready for this ooey, gooey, warm, classic recipe, let's get started. All right, y'all, so the most important part of your bread pudding is going to be your bread. And you can use whatever bread that you want to use. I'm using a French bread loaf here, and I'm just going to cut these into cubes enough that will fit into my baking dish here. So you can use um, a two quart up to a three quart or a nine by 13 baking dish will work also. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and start cutting these up. So you wanna cut them about one inch. Now when you're cutting bread, make sure that you use a nice serrated edge right there and cut lightly through the bread. Now this is about a day old bread, so the older the bread, the better. All right, so here are my cubes right here. All right, so before we put our bread cubes into our baking dish here, I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of butter and I'm gonna coat it. I'm gonna get in the grooves along the sides. I find that a pastry brush really helps, or you can use a paper towel or you can spray if you want to spray some um, like a butter coating in here that's fine too All right there we go all right so I'm full up to the top there and that's good because you know we're gonna have custard that we're gonna be putting in there so you want to make sure that you've got plenty of bread in there to absorb that custard all right, so we're going to go ahead now and make the custard. And the first thing we're going to do is crack six eggs into our bowl here and then just whisk them up. Someone's going to be really happy today. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be my husband. Okay. To that, you're going to add four cups of milk one cup of sugar let me move the bowl up there for you all right we're going to add some cinnamon about two teaspoons or whatever you can handle on cinnamon i'm going to put some nutmeg in there mm -hmm. half a teaspoon of nutmeg let me show you that there you go that's good. And then got to have vanilla, right? All right. Now we're making the custard here, so one and two. Whew. Thought I was going to run out of vanilla for this dish. All right. And very carefully mix this all together. Just use the same whisk. smells good okay we're gonna go ahead now and pour this all over our bread right here so you can take your custard mixture and pour it on fill it up Ooh. all that lovely flavors out of there All right, push, push the bread in. If you need more bread in there, you can put more bread, cut up more bread if you have it. I got an escapee there, there we go. All right, there we go. What I'm gonna do is allow it to rest for 20 minutes to allow all that bread to just absorb all of that custard in there for 20 minutes. 
I'm going to be preheating my oven at 350 degrees and then I'm going to place this in there for about 40 to 45 minutes until we have a nice beautiful golden crust on top. All right y'all I will see you when we are ready to dig in. All right so my bread pudding is now out of the oven. I'm going to let it rest for a little bit. Now you have several choices of what you can eat with this. You can eat it by itself, you can have some ice cream with it, but I'm going to tell you what, I make a delicious vanilla sauce to go over this and I'm going to show you how I put that together. Alright, so in a medium saucepan I've got about two tablespoons of butter while it's melting. I'm going to go ahead and add half a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to add one tablespoon of flour, one egg, one and a half cups of milk. I'm going to start whisking this together. We're going to cook this for about 10 minutes while whisking it continually. And I'm going to go ahead now and add about two teaspoons of vanilla. So I'm just going to continually mix this for 10 minutes. We have a nice, rich vanilla sauce for our bread pudding. Oh yeah, that is exactly what we're looking for. We're going to go ahead now and turn our burner off. We're going to cool this down for just a minute and then pour it over our bread pudding. We're going to do this the way my husband likes it. Ice cream. I got the taste tester coming. Look at that. So far we're doing good. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got one more finishing touch. And what was that? My vanilla sauce that I made. Ooh, vanilla sauce. Look at that. It's going to melt that ice cream. I'm so excited. He's excited. There we go. All right, I'm going to pass it on. All right, my husband gets the first bite. As You're excited? Yes. As it should be. It's going to be warm. Oh, I can see. I can see. That's okay. <laughs> It's the only way I can marry them. I had to have a recipe for bread pudding. Oh, <laughs> Alright y'all, if you like my bread pudding recipe with my homemade vanilla sauce, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification and you'll always know when my shows are posted. Alright, we will see you on the next episode.